this needs to be addressed immediately. It's gone on long enough. When I do my cost videos, sometimes I see in the comments, people will write, well, good luck with a normal person trying to get that rate. And by the way, that's how I assume you haters talk in a goofy, baritone, sarcastic voice. But that's what they'll say. They'll say, well, how am I supposed to get that? Uh, newsflash, I'm a normal person paying normal rates. That is why I made the video. What sense does it make for me to make a video and share costs that are unattainable to you? Does that make any sense? Does that provide any value? No, it doesn't. I don't make videos that are pointless. In my videos, you're always going to get something. I don't make um, any filler videos. I don't make content that is just bland. I always provide something, whether it is knowledge, information, a hack, a comparison, whether I show you the hotel, give a rating of the hotel. Whether you like my videos or not, you can't point to one where it is just nonsensical, where it's just filler. I'm always trying to deliver value in my videos. That's just the business person in me. So of course, the rates I share are what normal people pay. I'm a normal person. And after I share my three point plan today on how to get those rates, I think it's gonna open a lot of eyes. Now, it's a guaranteed way that works. How much it works is up to you. How much you invest in it and use it is up to you. Um, it's not magical, but it will completely shift your paradigm on how to book hotels, okay? So it's a three point strategy. I'm just gonna get right into it. Let's start with point number one. Point number one is that you need to develop a barometer, a sense of value. You need to understand what a good price on a hotel is and a bad price on a hotel is. And there's only one way to do that. You need to start looking at hotel prices. Just like how you may glance at the news, glance at TMZ, uh, glance at your sports teams, glance at the headlines. You need to start glancing at hotels on a daily basis, okay? And it takes five minutes, that's it. What I recommend doing is making it fun. Pick two hotels or three hotels that you're really interested in, uh, hotels that maybe are in great cities or maybe they will be potential vacations, and start looking at them. Look at what the rates are next week. Look what they are two weeks from now, a month from now, three months from now, six months from now. Start to develop a gauge of what hotel rates are. Maybe take a look at a five-star hotel and a four-star hotel. Take a look at a Hyatt and a Marriott. Start to look at how hotel rates fluctuate. You will notice your same hotel on a weekend versus a weekday. One week from now and three months from now are gonna be much different. You're gonna see that hotel prices fluctuate wildly. I talk about this all the time. Just pick two or three hotels and just start checking rates and just see what they are constantly. Once you develop and see those fluctuations, you'll start to get a, um, you'll start to get a knowledge for the median price, okay, where it is typically. You might see that 350. You might see that 150. On New Year's, you might see that 1,000. And someday in the middle of March, you might see it at 100. The only way for you to know if you're getting a good deal is to start following hotel rates. It's not that hard. So. Okay, number two, uh, this step is extremely important, but also not really that important. It sounds paradoxical, but let me explain. Unlike air travel, where the majority of the ticket costs are predicated on commodity prices, specifically kerosene, jet fuel, you have to book uh, a flight during a very specific window. And I'm gonna reveal that probably in a video down the road. With hotel costs, because the majority of the costs are fixed, the building, it's either owned or it's on a lease or whatever. Yes, there are variable costs I know with employment and energy and marketing and food and beverage and whatever, but the majority of the hotel costs are fixed. Therefore, what you want to do is book your hotel as soon as possible, okay? It doesn't matter if your date is one month out, three months out, six months out, book it as soon as possible, assuming that you paid attention to step number one, that you know a good price. Never just blindly book a hotel and just assume the price is good. So if you practice step one and you're comfortable with the price, if it's within your range, book it as soon as possible. And there are a litany of reasons for that. But number one, you never know when a convention could come into town, a wedding, 
could come and take up the majority of rooms, driving up the price for the rest of the rooms remaining. You never know if a hotel might just decide to raise prices. You never know if an event is coming into town. You never know. And because hotel costs are typically fixed, the window of booking is not as important as it would be for booking a flight. So as soon as you found out where you wanna go, as soon as you have asserted that the price is reasonable and it fits into your budget, you know what a good price is, you want to book immediately. You never know when an event or an action could drive up the price. Okay, so step number one, you've been paying attention to prices. You now have a good barometer and a good sense for what a good hotel price is. And step number two, you found out where you wanna go. You've booked it as soon as possible. You're comfortable with the price. Everything is good in the world, right? Wrong. Once you book your hotel, that is not where it ends. That's only where it starts. And why did I tell you to book your hotel as soon as possible? Well, welcome to step number three. You're just getting started. Step number three, keep looking at that hotel price, okay? All these hotels have cancellation policies. And unlike airlines where you can only cancel 24 hours after the ticket, on a lot of these hotels, most of them, I'd say 95%, you can cancel within 24 to 48 hours of check-in. Okay, so if you book three months in advance, you continue to look at that price. Prices may go down another 20%. You cancel and rebook that exact second they do that. There is nothing from stopping you to do that. I do that all the time. And that is really the secret of how I get great prices is that I don't stop looking at the hotel price once I booked. In fact, that is when I start looking. So continue to check, check the next day, check the next week, check every couple days, check, 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 check. There's nothing in the cancellation policy that says you can't cancel as many times as you want. So for me, if I see that price go down 5%, boom, I'm canceling and rebooking. Goes down another five, boom, canceling, rebooking. Goes down another 10, cancel, rebooking. I have no problem canceling a reservation three or four times. Anytime I see a lower price, I am canceling and rebooking, and I will do this all the way up until my check-in time. When you book your hotel, that is not when the process ends, that's just where it begins. Use the cancellation policy as a sword, not a shield. Leverage it, utilize it, it is there for you to take advantage of it. God knows these corporations take advantage of us, so let us use their own policies against them. If we can cancel and rebook as many times as we want, why wouldn't we do that, especially if we see a lower price? So that is it, right? It is mind-blowingly simple. Continue to keep an eye on prices. If they get lower, then cancel and rebook and do it as many times as possible. That is my three-point strategy on how I get the cheapest hotel room. So when you see me get a tower suite for $156 or Hotel Rue Republica for $100 a night or any of the hotels that I have got fantastic prices on, that is the secret to my madness. That is my methodology. Step one, look at hotel prices, get a barometer, find out what a median hotel price is. Number two, book as soon as possible. You never know what event could drive up the price. And number three, don't stop at number one or two. As soon as you book, keep an eye on that price. Cancel as many times as you want. Make sure you always book for the cheapest rate available.